Liam Smith, great to meet you. So you're the manager here in St. Kieran's of the hurling team. Uh, what's in the water around here? I don't know. I suppose we're lucky with the guys that come in here. They all come in. They've been playing with the clubs for a long time. They've, they've worked hard. And I suppose the guys that come in here just want to hurl and they want to get better and better and better. What kind of dedication do they have to have in their training? They have to be totally focused, really. I mean, you see the guys behind us, you know, they're, they're enjoying themselves, they, they find it great fun. And, I mean, some people might think that hurling or sport or something is a chore, it's, it's not for them. They come in here in the morning and they come up, they hit the balls against the wall, they play their own games, they make up their own rules, they're having fun, they're getting to know each other. That's so, brilliant. And tell me about the school as well, because the school itself is incredibly successful. Yeah, the school is going, the results in the Leaving Serve for the last six or seven years are incredible, are fantastic. They're really, really going from strength to strength. And I suppose it's reflected in the, the lads that are getting scholarships, education scholarships and sporting scholarships in, in our top universities. I can't wait to meet the guys and hopefully they'll be able to show me a trick or two because my camogie days are long gone. Ah, they'll, they'll show you. It's easy. I'll it'll come back to you. <laughs> Tom, Woody, what age are you? Uh, 17. You're 17, so yeah. you're in sixth year now, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so how are you finding it juggling, you know, the hurling and being in a leaving cert year? Well, it's tough enough. Like, you kind of, we're trying to get study in. You get loads during night, and then you don't really have time to go hurling, but you kind of have to make it now for the rest of the year because the championship will be coming up fairly soon, so you kind of, yeah. You have to make time for that. Like, just do you find that it sort of helps you focus a little bit more? Because you're like, right, I have to spend this much time doing my hurling, this much time studying. Yeah, well, you're not studying the whole time, which is better. You can kind of go out and let off a bit of steam and you're fucking around with the boys and stuff like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, What height are you? Uh, six, seven, about that, Six, yeah. seven, yeah. and you're still going? They said 18, but I'd be still going to, so... <laughs> I'm hoping to stop fairly soon because that's where most of the injuries are coming from. So, oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's not great. Like, you hit a certain point, and after that, it's kind of getting a nuisance bending underneath doors and stuff like that. <laughs> the house at home is bad for the forehead, so it is, you know. Sean Carey, how are you? I'm grand, thanks. So, hurling's in your blood, obviously. Well, yeah, it started when I was four, really. Well, it was born with a hurl in my hand, you know, daddy like. Yeah, of course, your dad's DJ Carey. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, did I suppose, did you have a little bit of pressure on you maybe when you were growing up to get into it, uh, or did you just fall in love with oh, it? Oh, I just fell in love with it. Still, to this day, like, I can't put a hurl down, even since the boys there as well, since first year, we were after bringing in hurls from the very first day. So what was it like kind of coming in here, your dad being like this superstar, was everyone like, yeah. oh my God. Yeah, it was for yeah. the first year, well, still are like, but oh, his, that's what I was like the first day, just meeting everyone, oh yeah, you're DJ Carey, so yeah, yeah. Does he ever come in to pick you up? And oh, like, he does be in every evening and he drives in the gate as well, so he loves everyone seeing him and stuff. Yeah, he loves it, he like rolls down the windows, yeah. hey guys. He doesn't park at the gate like all the other parents <laughs> now, he drives it right in, so. All right, so Tom, I believe you do a little bit of freestyling. So can you teach me a couple of basics and then maybe we can do a little bit of freestyling with each other? Okay, that's right. Right, okay. Okay. We'll start to start then. And just kind of get down to rise up. All right, all right, yeah. I'll give it a go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not that's, bad. That's, that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Now we can go up onto the hurl and we can just flip it over. Okay. Oh. Oh, sorry, hang on. Right, Blanche. Hang on, I have to get someone else now. Is that okay? Oh, that's fair that's enough, that's fair enough. I'll leave it to the pros. Okay. 